if I can make it there, I'll make it anywhere. It's up to you, New York. Jets fans, welcome back to another session of Jets Talk here, here on Knicks Bros TV. Um, just finished the game where the Pats uh, just beat the New York Jets 27-25. to um, Obviously, it's a disappointing loss because, you know, we could have had that win and kind of turned the season around. Right now, looking at it at 1-6, and six, I know our schedule is only going to get easier, but um, turning the ship around right now is going to be much more difficult. But, hey, I am um, representing this Jets logo with um, a lot of – you know, integrity, and uh, I'm very passionate about our performance tonight. I thought, you know, Geno Smith came out, and he had himself a really good game. Overall, Geno Smith was 20 for 34 with 226 yards and one touchdown. He did not turn the ball over. Um, some of the trick plays that Rex Ryan did again with, um, I know he dropped the ball once, but he managed to get on top of it, so that was nice. Um, one individual I really want to applaud is going to be Chris Ivory. You know, I think Chris Ivory is a wonderful running back, just the way he runs the ball. I am not comparing him, and it's way early for me to do so. I am not comparing him with um, Curtis Martin, but, you know, the way he runs, just how hard he runs. And Curtis Martin was a pretty big running back, too. So, um, but, you know, Ivory ended up with 107 yards. Chris Johnson did about 61 yards. And Geno Smith. Uh, which I will go more in depth with in the video. I actually had about 37 yards of running. Our receivers, again, were, it's basically mediocre stats on a receiver's part. Decker had about four receptions for 65 yards. Cumberland had that um, touchdown. And Amaro, I mean, good grief, man. Um, he had the same exact drop pass as, did, um, as he had tonight in our previous game, where it was right down the middle. It could have been about a nice 12-yard gain. No one around him. I guess he hears footsteps and just drops the ball. So, um, you know, Amaro, he's, he's, he's got a far way to go from being consistent, but he's definitely got potential. And um, one of the New York uh, Jets filmmakers, I forgot the name of, uh, of his channel, but he, he reps the Jets all the time. And one, thing, one key thing he stated in his videos was, you know, right now I think the best thing to do with the Jets is just evaluate talent. Um, obviously, us going one and six the last time we had a such a bad record was we were four and twelve in two thousand seven. But again, I want to applaud our offense for coming out and just for the most part, especially the first half, keeping Tom Brady on the sideline. That's that's what you do to beat the Patriots. You do that. Um, we ended up with four hundred twenty three total yards. Um, penalties were not as big of an issue as they were before. Um, and a lot of people expected turnovers in this game, which didn't happen because of the, the rain before the game. So, But um, let's, let's look at the offensive side of the ball. Um, Geno Smith, something he has done today that he should have done earlier in, 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 his, uh, in the season, and that came from him running the ball. You know, I know he's trying really hard to maintain and be a pocket quarterback, um, but, you know, sometimes you just have to use your God-given talent and go with your instincts, and if there's no one around you, go ahead and take off for that uh, first down, in which he did several times very well in this game and protected the ball. So that was really good seeing that for, from him. Um, the other thing was Rex Ryan also came out about uh, three or four days before the game and stated that, you know, he wants Geno to run the ball. So I'm assuming that was part of the game plan. Um Pretty consistent throwing the ball. I mean, nothing nothing too special. The main thing with Gina Smith is, you know, protect the ball and make sure there's no turnovers. But we did what we needed to do is was run the ball so that way Gina Smith was able to have those throws that he did have. So uh, mission accomplished as far as that went. But where the mission basically failed was our end zone. Or our red zone offense is terrible. Um, you know, we either shoot ourselves in the foot with a penalty uh, in which, um, or center, or or you know, um, center that's only played like uh, just recently just started uh, Abushi. Um, he had that huge penalty where Geno Smith threw the pass to Curly for the touchdown, but it never counted. So um, that's what it comes down to. So if you don't convert those uh, red zone offenses, then you're in really big trouble. 
Um, so that's really that. But Chris Ivory, wonderful job. The one thing that, again, we did in the second half, I don't know if anyone really noticed it, we went away from our game plan and just started playing catch-up and stopped running the ball. You know, the more we ran the ball, the better we were off because the Patriots were not stopping us. Um, so that's that. Before I move to the defense to kind of talk about that, uh, I did want to say one comment about uh, Darrell Rivas, again, as a Jets fan. Um, I'm not bitter. Uh, with him whatsoever I think you know he's doing what he needs to do and I wish him the best and he's he gave us five good years so um so as far as the defense is concerned or defense for the most part did well but we gave them a touchdown um with that blown coverage by Allen you know really like Tom Brady like you don't need to come off your coverage it's not like you're covering RG3 you don't need to come off your coverage and be afraid of for Tom Brady to run. And that's what cost us that touchdown to begin with. Um, but a after that, I mean, or, or rushing defense was on point. Or front four was amazing again. Uh, we didn't have the sacks I expected on Tom Brady, but he did take one or two hits. Um, but again, what it comes down to is, honestly, the defensive backs that we've been given, um, the defensive backs that we were counting on the entire season from the off season, the hype that we was surrounding this team, that defensive back has lost us games over and over and over again. So um, that's what it came down to. Even, even um, you know, we, that we could have stopped him at the third down and uh, Tom Brady ended up throwing to the wide receiver uh, for, for that touchdown late in the game. Um, but, that's really that. And I do want to applaud Powell or uh, special teams punt returner slash kick returner. He um, he had himself a much better game than he did last week. Um, so we're 1-6 in six right now, um, dead last in the AFC East. I guess right now it's just a matter of just, you know, saving, not really saving the season, but just, you know, for the fan base, for the, for the organization, just win as much as possible. Right now, as far as Rex Ryan is concerned, um, you know, I, there's nothing for me to say as far as Rex Ryan. I mean, if he gets fired, it is what it is. But at the same time, I really don't see any of this being his fault. The one thing that I do feel like it was aggravating me was the, the timeouts we wasted, um, you know, in the second half because the defense was confused. If you would have had one, one, one extra timeout, maybe we could have um, simply took a timeout and saved one more play to give – um, or kicker much better um, field for for the field goal, although it was blocked, but it, it still wouldn't matter. I mean, you know, I would rather have a 50-yard field goal than a 58-yard field goal. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's that's been the tune of our entire season. It's been very close games. Um, it really has tested, or you know, fan base has tested everything. So, um, but the one good thing is is we're not seeing the team just come and roll over. I mean, we're playing hard football. Um, and one thing I do want to state, I mean, good grief, you look at that schedule. I mean, we play um, Rodgers. We play um, Cutler. Um, uh, also, we play Stafford. Then we play Rivers. After Rivers, we play Peyton Manning. Then we got Tom Brady. I mean, good grief. I mean, Roger Goodell, thank you so much. I mean, NFL schedules, I mean, let's not make it lopsided whatsoever. But, again, it was a matter of picking up one or two wins during this stretch in which we only managed to beat the Oakland Raiders at our, our first game. So, you know, guys, tell me what you think. I mean, right now it's like, you know, previous years and Jet seasons, every year you look for the NFL draft, and this one's no different. You, know, you guys tell me what you think. Um... You know, well, who's 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 to take blame, or is there anybody to take blame? Are we just coming short? Um, it is what it is. Huge defeat. Very disappointed. I really don't like Tom Brady and the Patriots, but again, you know, obviously, the, obviously they're doing something right. You know, and sometimes you just got to be able to accept it and move on and let let them know who's the better team. But you know, it is what it is. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe and you comment on um on my channel and my brother's channel obviously 
And um, before before we leave, one other question I do want to ask is, um, I don't know if you guys noticed it, for a backup quarterback that has that knows you have a struggling starting quarterback, and you know compared to other backup quarterbacks, Michael Vick in any game can be your starting quarterback. I just feel like he's not there mentally. I don't know if you guys see it. When he's on the on the field, he's kind of like dazed. I don't know. My, my perspective, I can be wrong. But, again, you guys tell me what you think. Uh, please subscribe and comment on our channel. And, um, again, see you guys next week. Bye.